Whatever the reason is that you're looking to boost your creativity, my name is Nicole Rogaman, and I'd like to share with you my hints, tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you'd like to call them. My first tip is get outside. Yes, I know it sounds obvious, especially when it's bright, beautiful, and sunny out. If it's colder, if it's raining, you might be thinking that's not something you want to do. But guess what? Do it anyway. Changing your environment is one of the fastest ways to change what's on your mind. You never know what you're going to see when you get out. And after all, that is the point, right? See new things and feel inspired. Tip number two, collect inspirations. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, for example, maybe music is something that's important to you. You want to have put together a collection of your favorite song lyrics. Maybe it's lines from poems, movie quotes, anything that inspires you in words. I was collecting song lyrics for a long time, probably since my teen years, and this was before the internet. So you're actually listening to the radio and playing and pausing and stopping and rewinding just to nail down that little section of verse that you wanted to remember. So put together a collection of your inspirations. Okay, this is my words. Another thing, maybe you have a scent that inspires you. You have something that reminds you of something fabulous. If it's a scented candle, great. If it's someone's cologne or a lotion, great. Have that scent near you. That can be incredibly inspiring. Another thing, Pinterest is here for a reason, right? This is a spot where we can collect all of our photo inspirations, not in our own life. Maybe it's a decorating style. Maybe it's the way that someone put together a room. Maybe it's furniture or design of some sort. Look through Pinterest, make folders and pins of your most favorite things. Whatever way you could do it so you can easily access it, collect your inspirations. Tip number three, experiment. Don't judge yourself for whatever project you may want to begin. Allow yourself a blank canvas you can do anything you want on and imagine no one will ever see it. Tip number four, don't compare yourself to others. It is very easy to stalk our favorite designers or artists or musicians or photographers on Instagram and compare ourselves to them. Maybe we feel like we don't measure up, so maybe that even prevents us from trying to do what we want. Don't compare yourself to others. You are trying to do something creative for yourself to express yourself. That is the point of all of it, so don't be so hard on yourself. And finally, my last tip, number five, music. If you're a huge fan of music and can put together a playlist of songs that fill you up emotionally, sweet. If you have no idea what to choose, classical music is great to get the creative juices flowing and yet can fade into the background as you enter creative flow. And of course, the bonus fry here is dancing. I hope these tips helped you out and good luck on your creative adventures.